Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to discuss about configuring views in constellation and what are the OOTB rules involved in that and what are the different types of views we can create. Let's get started into the topic. So from constellation, we no longer refer UI as sections and we refer as views. So you have to be familiar with this uh, terminology and later another important thing is from constellation applications so views can be seen or edited or created only from app studio but not dev studio so we won't touch any dev studio here and there are mainly four types of views in constellation like a case or object view full view so full view is the like a main ui where you can see all case related info and in that we can define list views and form views so these are the major four type of views uh, in constellation if you find any other views also you can uh, feel free to comment in this video and uh, pega ootb provides uh, three views like a summary details and preview and uh, you can customize those uh, views also so how can we access these views or create this view so these views can be created or accessed from app studio and in app studio like under case step you have separate tab called as a ux like user interface tab and uh, in case step like in assignment shape where we capture data there also you can configure this view like which view should be visible to the end user and what are the properties we need to capture from that respective view or what are the property values we have to show in that we can configure in that and there is another tab under data types where we have data model so there also we have ux tab there also we can create this uh, and access these views and uh, once you create a new view uh, where it goes actually there is an otb class called as rule ui view in that you can see so normally full view we can where we see case data so those are divided into three things like left panel which is a summary and work area panel and right area panel so right area panel from now we can call it as utility panel so normally you can see in all the case types uh, whether it is old or new where you can see attachments like from theme cosmos you can see on the right hand side you can see uh, who are the work parties involved in that case and who are the followers of that case and what are the attachments that are on the case so that right panel we are calling as utility panel and main case information we can see work area panel and in theme cosmos you don't have like a header where you display the data so on the left hand side we will show the summary and if you want to add some more properties whatever you want based on your application needs that we call a summary panel and next is case view so this case view is like primary fields under data model so detail views means only specified as details so a uh, preview we can have a case view in that so it's like a miniature of the main case uh, like uh, our work list if you see so this is the um, report we have to display right so the like that uh, it is a case view so now let's see in pega how it displays so as i have discussed so this is app studio and in app studio if you go to data so here you can see uh like a previous constellation of dx api if it is dx api you will get a date json and uh, this is a constellation view and this is full page view and other views so in full page view you can see like a uh, what is the global heading and what is the subheading and uh, summary so this one like created updated uh, so this is nothing but summary let's configure that and see how it works so as i said this data object now see how it displays uh, in case types So this is a case type. So here you can see, uh, first we can see a preview like a save and run. So here you can see urgency work status created. So this is details tab, pulse tab, history tab. And uh, the, this is case life cycle and this is utility tab that I am discussing. So let's exit the preview. 
and you can see this highlighted uh, view have urgency and work status if you want you can add uh, some more properties so here the properties from widgets you can see uh, any tags or like that otherwise if you want to add fields directly you can add the field like uh, suppose customer uh, so here create operator name is also not there so we can add these two and uh, this is summary tag yeah and summary tab uh, is like this created and updated so here also this is summary view actually so this summary view is uh, shown in this left panel in this uh, summary view create and update operator are there if you want to add uh, some more details you can add that as well suppose case add if you want to add you can add that and see it's like a inline stack so one after the other it will go tagged and if you scroll down there are tabs so this is like details pulse history tabs so if you want to add more tabs you can add and if you want to configure that respect to tab also you can select this so if you want to show the count based on some property on that uh, tab you can otherwise if you want to rename that tab you can and if you want to display that tab conditionally like custom condition or when rule you can configure uh, based on uh, the operator or uh, some access role like that you can and if you don't want to show history for few of the operators like uh, some end users uh, so or suppose for mobile users only you want to show this so you can give this is mobile when and if you want uh, to show like only for a product incident or service incident so based on that you can configure this history tab and this is utilities on the right hand panel that we have seen attachments and uh, followers so those are the widgets that we have so we have added those widgets and if you want to add new widgets uh, to that suppose pulse widget if you want to add or tags widget if you want to add you can add that and options like a showcase icon uh, if you want to show you can and if you don't want to showcase life cycle you, you if you remove it see so stages uh, and everything has gone and show prompted action so if you remove this uh, the prompted action that uh, assignment needs to be done those will be gone so just we have done some changes to this and uh, let's save and run this see uh, you can see created updated and uh, case id over here so actually we are displaying case id over here um, but just if you want to add uh, some more properties for just for our display it has been given and these are the tags see i have added these tags uh, on our utility panel so we got this okay now i'm going back and so this is the full page view and uh, these are the views that we can configure and other views so this is also very important thing suppose you have a list of items so in our uh, list of items you want to display in table now in theme cosmos or in uh, main ui kit we used to display as a repeating dynamic layout uh, by sourcing a table or dynamic uh, um, data page or uh, based on our needs so now i have created a sample table so here if you see the name of the table heading and uh, what is the data page if you want to use any data page you can use or if you want to add any properties even you suppose here uh, i want to add work list and include all class fields in the show and hide menu if you give that all the fields that are uh, tag to this data page uh, will be given here otherwise uh, he, it won't be displayed and if you want to add any view to your table you can give suppose this is a default view so this work list so i have given as table as uh, display as table now if you can change to gallery it will be like this and if you want to show as a timeline it will be like a date wise timeline and what is a date field because it's a timeline thing so if you want to go with uh, create date line and what is the title uh, of this uh, respective thing see here you can see 1 4 1 pm so this is a timeline thing and if you want to add any icons also you can add the icon and uh, suppose going back i'm changing to table 
yeah so in table if you want to add any columns you can click on that so as we are sourcing this particular list view with a data page you can uh, see the operators so the operator username reference object class flow name so these four i have added you can see this is a table and on the table we will have operations like filter delete or uh, do the changes so those also you can do like this so filter by custom and you can add uh, that and if you want to sort it uh, by operator id or some flow name you can add it and uh, if you want to group that as well also you can group that so all the operator ids uh, you want to group it so on clicking of the operator they can see the existing uh, the records based on that and row density suppose if you want to have default you can if you want to test short you can give the short and uh, full content if you want to display you can give that uh, so based on your ui needs and what is the maximum height of the row suppose is auto now i want to give only just 15 so maximum height you can see only 15 rows can be displayed uh, in a table and if you want to make it generic you can make this uh, auto and end user filtering suppose if you want to have some prompted filters on your table you can uh, add that property as well and uh, if you want to allow editing for your table you can give this uh, allow editing so on that inline we can do the editing of the table and uh, user personalization so if you want to make this uh, save like allow saving custom views allow grouping allow column reordering allow global search uh, allow user edit column visibility so all these operations what we want to give for this particular table you can see this by uh, configuring this list view and if you want to preview this as a DX API, you can give this. So you can see the JSON. So these are all the parameters that we have added for the respective uh, table view. And once you added this, you have to source this particular table and you can click on preview. So like this, you can add this view. And uh, once view is created, you can uh, go to another uh, table view and that view can add it. And this is partial. So this is a details tab. So in this detail tab, if you want to add any primary fields, you can add this uh, respective thing. And if this is confirmation, so in this confirmation also, you can uh, add uh, whatever you want. And uh, normally we will capture uh, the details from end user from an assignment. For that assignment, we may have to configure some form. So that is nothing but this form view. So all the assignments that we create, we can uh, configure those forms over here. Example, uh, scheduled payment. This is one of the form view. So here you can see, like uh, we have used some default form and uh, the properties that are required also we have given here. Suppose if you want to make it a two column layout, uh, you can see it records uh, changed okay and uh, if the fields that you want to get captured from the end user you can configure by clicking this add and if you want to add another view here example uh, uh, some other product info view in this uh, respective form see here you can uh, add this so based on your business needs it is very easy now to configure our views and this is uh, embedded views inherent views column layout this is one of the otp feature that is given by pega so like that uh, you can see and if you want to make it a hierarchical form you can view this and if you want to group it you can for group uh, the respective forms also so normally we have we used to have this uh, dynamic uh, layout groups right like that you can do the changes over here so this is nothing but a form view which is very useful for us so you also please uh, try to explore more thing about these views and how to add these uh, tabs and how to add widgets in our constellation ui and how we can uh, utilize more things from OTB on our dashboard so it will be very useful for us and if you go to like a diverse studio 
so this is rule ui view so here you can see all the otb rules or views that you have created and shipped as part of the product hope you have learned a new concept of uh, constellation views and configuring that views and how we can utilize in different forms stay tuned for more constellation videos to this channel before going to the video i would like to share that all the updates related to videos and any job opportunities you can find under my channel posts so if you scroll down you can see all the jobs that i have listed uh, across uh, my contacts and uh, you can do your predictions over here and you can participate in the polls that i conduct regularly before going to video i want to share that i am available in top mate now so if you want some pega career guidance or if you want some pega mock interviews or if you want some information on interview question whatever it is you can reach me personally in this top mate you can book a video meeting with me so that uh, i can have one to one chat with you guys thanks for watching this video hope you have liked the content Please feel free to subscribe to this channel and check community tab for regular updates and click on bell notifications.